What if you could effortlessly link websites, social media, or any content you desire directly into your documents with just a few clicks? Imagine the possibilities. Best of all, you can do this completely for using Inkscape. Welcome back. Have you ever wondered if you could link websites, social media, or anything else directly into your documents with just a few clicks? You can embedding these links into your text or shapes, making your designs interactive. Today, I'll show you how to do just that in Inkscape. So grab Inkscape. If you don't have it, you can download it from the official link in the description or in the comments section below. Then come back and let's start with the shape first. Select the shape and right click. Here, you will find Create Anchor Hyperlinks. Just click on it. On the right will open Object Properties. At the top under the anchor, here in href paste your link. In the title, this is what will appear when you move the mouse over the shape. Write whatever you want, this is optional. Right click on the shape again. To remove the link from the form from here, to test the hyperlink, simply click here. It will open in your browser, allowing you to see how your links work in real time. If you've linked to an email or any other type of content, it will open well. To add a link to the text, follow similar steps. Select the text and right click, and click Create Anchor Hyperlinks. Go back to the Right to Object Properties. Paste your link here. Add a title if you want. Please save your file in SEG format, as PDF files don't work when saved as PDF from Inkscape. If you have any instructions on how to do this, please share them in the comments. Open your file in Preview. When you hover your mouse over the shape, it will change to a hand icon, indicating that there is a link, plus the title you add will appear and clicking it will open the link in your browser. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you found this tutorial on adding links in Inkscape helpful and inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more creative tips, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tricks. Until next time, happy designing!